Cheers. Cheers. Hello to everyone and welcome to a new episode of What's Brewing. It's Mission to Zero. I'm Giampiero Frizio and uh, I'm introducing here my friend, Brando Spencer, that is the president of the motion business that is, is coming to visit us in this special episode. Thanks for coming here, yes, Brando. Sir, I appreciate being hosted. Yeah, it's gonna be great. And and you know, the what we're doing uh, is Mission to Zero is an intersection between what we're doing in our life, in our professional life, together with what we're doing in ABB, right? Thank you for coming with us a year. We were searching each other. And today we have also a special thing. Normally we taste coffee. Coffee, that's right. That's but what I've seen on the previous ones, but we're gonna change it up. We're gonna change it. And for you, because you're a special guest, we're gonna taste cola. You know, Brandon is one of the more of the biggest consumer of zero cola in the world. In the world, in the I world, guess. they say. <laughs> say exactly. So we're gonna taste. We're gonna taste the zero cola, but we're gonna taste the original one and the local one. And here we are in Zurich. We're gonna taste the Swiss one, right? I'm sure that is gonna be a great. Taste. I'm gonna try and be unbiased. Yeah, exactly. Try to be unbiased <laughs> because. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult. To trust, you know? <laughs> so let's put on the side for the for the moment the cola and let's start to talk about something very very important. I know that is in the heart of what you're doing. Talk about the energy efficiency. That is something that the people are not thinking so much, but the reality is the things that everybody could do every day, and there are really big technology for that, right? Yeah, absolutely. So. It's a topic that we're passionate across ABB. So in your business areas and certainly in mine, and it's one that we can impact today. You know, some of these things we're talking about new technologies and we're wondering what's gonna come and new developments, but this is one that we, we have the product solution services today to have a big impact. And so we always say that the greenest unit of energy is the one you never consume. That's great. Right. And, and I think that's a really practical way to think about it. So what kind of technology can we deploy that reduces the amount of energy, increases the ability to create more energy uh, or use more energy, but do it with a smaller footprint. And so when you think about drives, when you think about high efficiency motors, uh, all these kind of things that we can do, there's a great opportunity, today's products, today's offerings, and right now, a lot of times, we're walking right past the opportunity. And, and by the way, how much you can save you know, with, uh, in terms of energy? Yeah, so you think about it, hundreds of millions of motors in the industrial space. Less than a quarter of them have a drive attached to them. Uh, most of them are lower efficiency classes, so IE1, IE2, these sort of things. If you take higher efficiency, add drives, minimum 10% capacity back on the grid. Wow. So think about the conversations we have with our customers about putting renewables online, about data center growth and expansion of energy needs, all these sort of things. We have the tools now to put 10% back on, no new permitting, no new huge capital investment. Obviously there's some, but nothing compared to transmission lines, substations, all these sort of things. And uh, and so it's a fantastic opportunity with technology that ABB offers now. That's unbelievable. You know, you can create basically without consuming 10% more energy. That's something that normally the people don't think. They just think about how we could uh, produce more exactly. instead of we could say that's the best thing exactly yeah we yeah. talk all the time about net additions with lower emissions yes. this is an, exactly a that's way to enable that yeah. but i think that also for such a technology we are making a lot of investments in new factory new operation i heard about that right yeah one of the areas i'm probably the most proud of ABB because it's easy for us to go talk to customers or point the fingers at others and say you should be doing this or you should be doing that well what are we doing and I mean, I, I think uh, I was recently able to visit our factory in New Berlin, in Wisconsin. $100 million investment wow, from the drive million. product side. And when I go to that factory, geothermal, modern HVAC, drives, high efficiency motors, solar panels on the rooftop, we're gonna use 45% less energy in that facility towards net zero, everything reclaimed that we can. And so if you think about it, it really gives credibility to what ABB is trying to do. So we're taking our own products and solutions. Yeah. You walk through that factory and it's like a showroom for your switch gear and MCCs, uh, drive products, uh, everything that ABB does. And so for me, that's what makes me really proud and passionate about the topic is that our company is not just talking about it and not just offering these solutions, but we're doing it in our own facilities. And this is exactly what we talk about, mission to zero. Exactly. This is what we're doing first for ourselves in order to provide to our customers. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and that one's a great example too of kind of our local for local strategy, yeah. right? Exactly. So majority of what gets produced in that factory will be sold 
uh, and moved into the US and we're doing it with a lower footprint than I'm certain our competitors are doing. And so again, it's a differentiator for us. I mean, if someone else is making products down the street in a worse way or with a footprint that doesn't make sense, an emissions footprint that doesn't make sense, and ABB is, to me, that's the brand you want to use. That's, that's the company right. you want to work with. So we are working in a big way also to our customer to decarbonize, right? What we are doing and, and also what you are doing also in your customer life. Yeah, I think we have to take ownership of this. I mean, the big countries have to play a, a really big role. So the China, India, US, and certainly as an American, uh, the average carbon footprint of an American is I think six times that of yeah. someone in Europe. Yeah. And so, you know, I have an electric car. I love it, by the way, I charge it at home, no problems, I love driving it. But I think we have to be conscious of our consumption, yeah. of how much we use, when we're running the air conditioning, all these kind of things. I, I read an article where a billion people on a per capita basis use less energy than a refrigerator in the US. And so think about that. Uh, as those people come up the curb and need refrigeration, air conditioning, these sort of things, we've got to do our job to consume less. And so certainly I try and take that first. Yeah, it's a great message, thanks for that. Yeah, I think across the ABB divisions and across the company, we have these energy audits that we're doing where we go out to customers, we assess kind of their installed base, and we say, hey, here's what we think you could save in terms of electricity, in terms of emissions footprint, and put a plan together with them. So I think that's a great offering that cuts across the whole ABB portfolio. Also, if you think about kind of one real relevant topic now, you hear about carbon capture all the time. That's fascinating, this one. Yeah, yeah so there's lots of different ways to do it. Uh, I'm a believer that's certainly part of the solution. You know, at ABB, we don't pick winners of, of which technology it's gonna be, which energy source it's gonna be. And it's probably all of the above. Yeah. So we always say it's an and equation, not an or equation. Carbon capture is one of those. And I think it's a great opportunity. The whole portfolio at ABB is in play. And some of the largest projects happening around the world in the North Sea and the US are all on the backs of ABB technology. So what a cool place to be where we're actually making a difference and having an impact on the environment around us. That's unbelievable. You think about the CO2 that is on the air, we're gonna capture. Put, put it, it back, back where it came from. Put That's it back in the ground. Unbelievable. So now in the meantime that I'm opening the bottles, the good, you know, part, the good parts of that, may I ask you, if you can imagine the word uh, uh, for uh, decarbonize right, from the technology standpoint, from uh, what, what do you imagine about that? I mean, I think first I'm excited about, uh, we're making progress. And so a lot of times in my business area of motion, we talk about let's chase progress, not perfection. And I think that's something that I would certainly ask the viewers to, let's just make an impact. Let's uh, create more, use less. And, and I think we're doing it. So the first thing is I'm excited about it. The second thing is I think a lot of the younger generation in ABB, they have a true passion and purpose around this topic. And they're the next people that are gonna be sitting in these chairs, yeah, having the conversation sure. and leading the business. Drinking cola or whatever. Well, we'll see. They might drink coffee, <laughs> let's see. But I think I'm, I'm really excited about that. And then I would say lastly, innovation. You know, it's our job as a technology leader in the world to provide the innovation that's gonna help this move faster, that's gonna bring costs down, that's gonna bring deployment easier. And uh, I'm absolutely a believer that ABB is doing the right things in order to have that impact. That's why also we are working for ABB. That's so right. That's, that's our right. purpose, try to provide the future with more power and lower emission. That's, that's right. That. That's right. We're gonna leave it better than we found it. Yeah, exactly. So. Let's taste. Let's try so it. We, normally we rate one to five, one you know. Five, okay. So we have the original one and the other one. I think the original one, you know it. We you should probably know. start with the Swiss one because I yeah, know what the original exactly. one tastes like. Exactly. I think that we need to rate the the local one. The rest we can we can drink we later. Know. You we know. know. Exactly. Yeah. So Thanks. let's taste. Right. It. Cheers. Cheers. You think so? Yeah. Well, you are the expert. I trust you. You yeah. know. You don't. It looks like you don't like it as much. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. If this is only aired in Switzerland, this is perfect. Yeah. yeah that, that's for that. Yeah. <laughs> what? How do you rate it? Yeah. I'm gonna be gracious to our host country here. Okay. I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. Is your, you have three. No, I can I cannot give three. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you two. Sorry for that, but you know that was a taste. You know, thank you for coming here. It was great to have you here, and I hope that all of you enjoy. I think that today we have had the pleasure to have Brandon providing great messages. You know, 
Imagine that we can even capture the CO2 emission, put it underground. Imagine that we can create more energy, just consuming less. That's beautiful. So I want to thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy. I hope you enjoy coffee, tea, cola. Could be better one. The better, and uh, the better one will try yeah, as we better. go Now we're going to take it, you know. With our code and, zero. Uh, I wish you a great day. Thank you so much. Cheers.